This Brown Toolbox is hosted at the NUA campus website, which is a capacity building platform of Wuppertal Institute's Urban Living Lab Center, and its internet address is sprouttoolbox.nuacampus.org. So the website provides, uh, in general, um, practical guidance to city officials steering the mobility transition that cities uh, nowadays face. And very possible and applicable, the toolbox also includes assessments from city representatives themselves. So uh, it provides tools, methods, and data that cities can use to benefit from mobility innovations. <clears throat> and in that sense, it also represents the results of this project, which were co-created by researchers and practitioners um, during three years of project lifetime. And here you can see the uh, landing page of the toolbox, and you can see these uh, six windows, which provide a structure for all tools that are incorporated and or explained and or referenced to um in this website and that also have been used during the project cycle of sprout so these are tools that have been used um in sprout either externally if you like so we use them to develop our results and also internally uh, in that sense that we develop tools ourselves so these are project results um, so let's start with the understanding innovation in urban mobility ecosystem section, though that's the first step of our Sprout project cycle. Um, at the core of this section is an explanation of the Sprout ecosystem approach. So this approach takes into account that urban mobility is more than a number of mobile objects moving from origin to destination and using the urban transport infrastructure but it rather takes into account all stakeholders and processes and systems which are involved in further developing the urban mobility uh, system. And uh, if you apply this approach, you will further uh, learn um, about yeah, you know, how innovations take place uh, in the city. Um, and at the bottom of this section, you find related tools. Uh, so tools that are related to understanding innovation in urban mobility ecosystems and you can link them, uh, you, uh, you can follow the links here. On the right hand side you find subtopics which, are, uh, which discuss the ecosystem approach then uh, which I outlined um, briefly in more detail. Uh, then comes the 4C section. Um, it's the uh, section that deals with the questions which purpose do scenarios and visualizations fulfill. So what is the role of visualizations and scenario building in the policy um, developing process and how can scenarios and visualizations contribute to evidence-based decision making? Um, so again, you can find here at the bottom of the section related tools. Um, so in the, that case, it's tools that relate to scenario building and that help you with scenario building and visualization of scenarios. Uh, and um, also similar to the first section, you find here on the right hand side, you find subtopics that uh, yeah, discuss further the areas of, of scenario building. Uh, then comes the Integrate Mobility Innovations Through Pilot section. So that is a section that um, discusses how um, pilots or innovations um, can be incorporated into your mobility system in, uh, in a respective city uh, smoothly. And um, yeah, here we have um, a video and also infographics about the five pilots that represent different use cases, different innovations that we had uh, in a Sprout project. So these are the infographics and the video that you can watch. And here again, you, you find subtopics to um, yeah, incorporating those pilots into the mobility system of a city. Uh, then comes the response section, which is the, uh, at the core of the Sprout project, if you like. Um, it's really then um, the Sprout policy response, which aims at really harnessing those innovations in a way um, cities become more um, sustainable. Uh, you can find here more about the policy responses that have been developed during the pilots. Um, and then also here is subtopics about those pilots. 
um, and they are explained more, uh, not only the pilots, um, but rather the uh, policy response. Okay, and then we have two special sections that do not follow the Sprout project cycle. Um, the first special section is our tool repository, um, where all, all tools can be found that relate, relate to the Sprout project. So external tools that we used or that are um, in a certain way um, related to the Sprout uh, research question and also our tools that we developed ourselves. Um, you may know the Civitas Urban Mobility Tool Inventory, which is an online database of over 200 tools and methods uh, that are, um, I mean, in a general sense, supposed to help local authorities uh, make more informed decisions. Um, and our uh, tool repository also links to this database, um, at least to those um, tools that are represented in the database that also relate to the Sprout uh, research questions. So here you can uh, then uh, click on search items. For example, if you search for cost-based uh, assessments or tools that relate to cost-based um, assessments, you can search for them. And uh, here you find uh, our own tool, the, the Sprout um, cost-based assessment. And then we also have a second special section, which is uh, the data space. So the data space collects data for the Sprout tools, those tools that were developed by the Sprout consortium to facilitate the Sprout policy response. Uh, so these are the five tools that can be uh, seen, uh, are outlined here on this graphic, the urban mobility transition, urban mobility transition inventory, the cost base assessment, the innovation readiness um, assessment, livability assessment, and also the action tracker. Um, and then, yeah, um, you can type in the data which is necessary to calculate those tools. And then we also have a uh, special section um, which briefly introduces the concept of that we developed um, that we call the minimum set of data. So, which uh, takes into account that cities have different data availabilities, uh, different sets of data, and uh, all cities want to apply these tools. So uh, we have a developed a three-tiered approach um, where you can apply those tools, um, at least our tools, um, even if you don't have much data available or many data. Okay, so that was uh, a short introduction to, to this uh, toolbox. Um, Thank you for listening and take care.